Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. Rick here and today we're going to have a look at how to use the memory to store and recall values on the TI-36X Pro Scientific Calculator. To do this we'll be using the second function key, it looks like this, located here. The store and recall key, that looks like this, located down here beside the 1. And the XYZ TABCD key, that looks like this and is located here above the store key. So to get started, if we just want to store a value on this calculator, say we've calculated something out and we want to store that for later use in a calculation, you place it on the screen, then press the STO key so that you get this little arrow going to the right, and then what you want to do is choose the slot you want to store it in. You do that by pressing this XYZ key right here. So you press it once, you see you get an X, that would store it in the X slot. If you press it again, you get a Y, again, Z, T, A, B, C, D. So those are all your slots. Press it back one, one more time and we're back to X. So there right now it's saying 10 into the X slot. If we press enter, it's stored now. Now if we want to put say 500 into our Y, Again, 500 on the screen, and we want to put this into the Y slot. Again, we press the STO key, and then the XYZ key there. You can see now we have 500 into Y, and press Enter, and Z into 5. Again, we press 5, store, 1, 2, 3, there we go, 5 into Z, Enter. And we can confirm these are stored by pressing the second function, STO key, this brings up a recall variable menu. You can see X is equal to 10, Y is equal to 500, Z to 5, and if we scroll down, you see there's zeros in all our other slots because there's nothing stored in those. All right. So let's say we wanted to use these values for a calculation. Let's say we had this equation here using numbers that we calculated earlier. Well, we can use second function recall to bring back our menu, and you can see the first one is 10, which was our x value, which is what we want, so we can press enter, plus second recall 500, which is our y value, so you can press down and enter, or you can just press the 2, because that was the second value, minus the 5, which was our z value, so again, second function, recall, and this time we'll just press 3, because it was the third value there, and there we have it. 10 plus 500 minus 5. Press enter, and you can see we get 505, which is correct. The store and recall function is great for also doing formulas with variables like a, b, and c in it because we can choose to display the variable rather than the number. So, for example, if we had a triangle like this and wanted to determine the length of this side, we know we can use Pythagoras, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or rewritten, the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. This is our c here. So, if we already have a and b, we'll say this side is a, 4 is a, and this side is b, we can enter it onto our calculator. So, first we'll put 4 into a, so we go 4, store, cycle through to a, there we go, 4 into a, enter, and 3 into b, 3, store, cycle through to b, there we go, enter. All right, we have these stored now. So we now know that these are our variables and this is our formula. So we just want to enter that by going second square root to start and then a. We can bring up our a by going one, two, three, cycle through to the a there and then squaring that and then adding the b cycle through to our b, squaring that as well, 
So you can see our formula here is square root of a squared plus b squared, which is what we want. And if we press enter, we see we get the result of 5, which is our c, and that works. So we can keep those variables rather than having the numbers in there and just helps us visualize it sometimes a little better. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody.